What's going on again? Y'all know what time it is. It is time to cut the grass. <laughs> and it look like I need to do a little weed eating up there, don't you think? But y'all don't be worried about what I got going on here. Worry about what I got going on tomorrow night, which would be June the 19th down in Meridian, Mississippi, the Cornerstone Church. We are having a men's conference. It starts around 6, but you better get there early because you never know as fast as I talk. Might need a little extra time. Might have to start a little early. So y'all come on out. Let's join in. Let's fellowship. Let's have a good time. Us as fathers or want to be fathers or dads, bring your, ki or bring your sons or whatnot. Let's all have a good time of fellowship. Learn what I've been through in life. Learn what made me go from not such a, not such a great father figure to being what I consider the greatest that I can be for my child. We've all had our struggles. We've all had our ups and our downs. And sometimes we need to see or speak to somebody that has been through the things that maybe you're going through in life. Maybe you don't get to see your child as much. Maybe you don't stand up and be there for your child as much. Maybe you need a little motivation, a little inspiration. See what the Bible says about being a father. Maybe you just need a little positivity in your life, a little laughter to let you know that no matter where you at in your life right now, that things can get better if you just have the faith, if you just trust and be thankful in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I'm there to speak it. I ain't going to be your preacher, but I'm going to speak my life and what God has done for me. And we're going to talk a little funny, too, because I'm going to tell you something. It's a lot of funny that goes on from the fatherhood of the trailerhood. You hear me? So y'all come on out to Meridian, Mississippi, the Cornerstone Church, June the 19th. Be there around 6 o'clock a little early if you can, and we're going to have a good time. I ain't scared, so y'all don't be scared. We'll see y'all. As always, y'all have a good day. God bless. And it's a way. Jesus loves you. Well, let's see if we can do this without making a mess. I went to fill this thing up earlier and I didn't have a whole lot of gas. I had to go get some. Then, I was trying to deal with this cap and this thing right here don't work good. So, anyways, I caused a mess, so I gotta do it the old fashioned way. Thank you. You're making a mess, huh? Hey, give me a better one. Give me a better way of doing it. Could just load this thing up on the trailer and took it down there to the stove. Get out here and cut some grass today. Rain's moving in, so. Y'all don't be getting freaked out over them white legs of mine. Shoot, them things that make alligators go deep. You don't know what that means. It means run from them. Anyway. Get this old cook to get fired up. Get the yard halfway knocked down before the rain comes in. That works. Hey. Whew. like gas. One why. High octane. <laughs> oh, yeah, this thing don't quite work right. This thing, it broke. Anyway, what well, it is, one of them, oh. so that thing don't, yeah, it ain't, yeah, it broke. Anyway, don't quite work right, but that's all right. There it goes. Oh, that, there. I'm just trying to show the dang thing broke before y'all get on here. <laughs> They'll be like, this is how you do it, good guy. You don't know how to put gas in the lawnmower. Yes, I know how to put gas in the lawnmower. I don't know how to fool with this thing the government made. <laughs> <sighs> so before you open your mouth, just shut it. <laughs> put some sweet tea in it, swish it around. What's that going to do? It's going to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, I gotta go in and get my headphones set, get my tones going, get that Bluetooth going, and uh, we'll be jamming. Four Seasons Equipment in Tupelo. That's where I got mine. That's where you should get yours. <laughs> Let's cut some grass, boy. 
I'm just kidding. I ain't got my tunes going yet, but I'm ready. But I'm ready. Get this thing fired up. You fired up. I'm fired up. You fired up. I'm fired up. I got the grass cut. Y'all can see kind of over the hill where the lake is or whatnot. I still got a little, little weight eating. I can't get over there too much. Got a bunch of roots over there, so I got to get that big weight here to get it knocked down. And I will, but I'm going to head to my girl's place and uh, get her grass knocked down for her real quick. Uh, like I said, I got rain coming, and if we're going to get four days of rain, supposedly, I don't know, but we're going to get that, then uh, I want to make sure her grass is knocked down, looking good around her trailer hood. That's what I like to do. I like to help my girl out, man. I like to help my girl. She be in, she, she got my feels, man. <laughs> so anyway, oh, the trailer hood's just like I said, it's cut, knocked down here. And uh, gonna go to my girlfriend and cut her grass. So. Any which way. <laughs> oh. America. I guess I better strap this baby down. Strapper down, stripper down. Well, y'all know me. I'm gonna get rid of this baby down, but you don't know how everything I got. It'd be messed up. It'd be messed up. I had this one on my hog trap, and it seems that the ratchet part is messed up for some reason. Let's see if we can't get it going. Ooh. Move a little slow, been on that lawnmower. Make my uh, body a little elaborated. Hey, hey, y'all, uh, my hook has to go over this thing over here, but it won't wrap through there. How y'all usually do it? Uh, I have to go around, hold on to that thing, come all the way around. Oh, uh, and then my other hand will fall off over there, so. I don't know, it won't wrap. It won't wrap good. I don't know if you can see it here or not. That won't go through there. Just kind of bring it in and wrap it around. So, I don't know, I figure some of y'all got intuition. Where are you, Charlie? I know you just got smart remarks. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, hey. I'll be on y'all pretty hard, don't you? But I know it ain't y'all that my supporters. You just beat them. You just beat them funnies. Be coming through. I know we have a thing. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to go cut my girl's grass. Get hers done. I like doing things for her. And she's cute. <laughs> her being pretty just makes it so easy to help her, you know. Her being quiet, too. <laughs> she's so sweet. She'd be worried about me every day. How'd you sleep, babe? Oh, I slept good. <sighs> How's your day, babe? Oh, it's good. <sighs> Ready to see you, babe. Oh, I'm ready to see you too, girl. Don't you think? Out <laughs> of hole. That, hey, how you do it? Out of hole till she won't. <laughs> but anyway, way. Let's head to my girl's place and get her yard cut. Hey, get a couple glass of milk. <laughs> Any y'all drink milk on a hot day? <laughs> I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I learned if you get sick. Partner had to leave you alone if you want to do something. You don't want to do something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My girl cool. My girl cool. Oh, yeah, babe. Man, I love milk. I don't care if it's hotter. I don't care if the day is hot or cold or whatever. I love milk anyway. All right. Now, let's get on the road. Look at that windshield. Look how clean that windshield is. Ain't even got a crack. Over here to Matheson, Mississippi. Gonna try to cut around a little bit for my girl. Get this high grass. She, she cut last week, and uh, she don't cut on that high side right there. That slope. She might slide down and flip it or something. So I get it for her. So I'm gonna start over here on the neighbor, Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim's a 
super nice guy. Super nice guy. That's actually my girlfriend's uh, best friend's dad that lives there. So I'll help cut his little bit front right here. And then we'll get that cut. We're just cutting grass, boys. Cutting grass. I know y'all may not be watching all this. And if you made this far, I surely appreciate it. And if <laughs> and if this is on YouTube, then I hope you saw an ad. That way, maybe I can make just a little bit more trailer hood rent, you know? <laughs> it's all about supporting the little guy. Eat tonight. I want you to let me, I want you to let me take her out to eat. I don't know if we'll get out to eat or not. Little boy's been sick this way this week. Had fever all week, so she's had to been off work here and there doing it. Tunes out of truck. All right, we got the grass cut. Now we moved on to the next spot. I gotta get my Ranger. Gotta go check a hog spot. And then we coming back. Then we're coming back to see my girl. <laughs> oh, but the grass is cut, so that's two yards knocked down. And I gotta, like I said, gotta go get my ranger, move to another spot, check a hog spot, and uh, may my day be over with. It's 447 as we speak, so I'm gonna get the music jamming, keep rolling. It's just my day, it's in and out of what I do today. I might enjoy it. You might not enjoy it. <laughs> so many times I travel down these roads going back and forth from different hog spots, different trapping spots, uh, different work jobs, maybe just cutting folks grass or cutting grass in general. I always get to thinking about how much the Lord has blessed me in many things. Sometimes we, so many times we tend to overlook how the Lord has blessed us. We always think about the bad things that go on in our life but we forget about all the good things that are that are going on in our life so try to sit back sometimes just try to think and, and, and remember that god is blessing you in everything he has a plan for us all when i first started this journey with social media by accident and i feel like the god gave me a platform i ain't made a dime and as things keep going and going and going and going, it seems that financially things get to happening for me, get to going better and better. And yeah, I get knocked down every now and again with a medical bill or some kind of, I don't know, something just comes up you weren't prepared for. And the Lord just, I talk to him about it and then it just always comes about, you know. It's just about like having kids. We don't ever prepare. Sometimes we want to have kids and then we try to figure out can we afford kids, but as my child, Knowing that the child that I have, you know, I didn't know if I could afford one or not, but it seemed like every time my child needed something, there was a blessing come that would take care of that, you know. We think we're so financially structured on how I'm pay this bill, how I'm gonna do this, and it just always happens uh, when it comes to our children and whatnot. So uh, at least it does for the blessing, at least the blessings I get do. Now I know there's a lot of struggling people out there trying to make it paycheck to paycheck or, uh, uh, disability check from disability check and I know it just seems like that we're not blessed but we are we're still here on this earth and it's a greater place that we're gonna go so just think about it as you're riding down this whole road you might not like to hear the sound of my voice and you might not like to look at uh, the appearance of my face but just know that God's got you God's got you and we're just traveling on so right now if you want Jesus in your heart just ask him Jesus come to my heart bless me Lord, you know the struggles that I go through. You know the pain that I feel, Lord Jesus. And I'm asking you to take that pain away from me. Take this feeling that I have of depression, of stress, Lord Jesus. I'm asking you to just take it from me. Give me the spirit of peace that I know that things are going to be all right, even though I can't see it right now. We're traveling this road right now. Just look at this old road. Just like this old paid road is guiding my path, guiding my way to where I need to be. God can be the path to you.
squeeze him back in. There's my ranger right there. Got to load it up, take it to that other place. But first, right, what we're going to do is we're going to go down there. Remember where I caught them pigs last week? Uh, got how many we end up catching? What, 31? 31 off this place? We're going to go down there. You know, there's a little bit of corn left on the ground, so I'm going to go down there and uh, see if... Uh, now, I had one big old giant hog left and uh, our two boars, one big boar and one 100 pound boar. come back here hit them up it's not a big deal like i said they told up right there anyway head on back down yeah y'all just out riding with me today ain't you <laughs> <laughs> anyway we just having a good time a lot of people don't like me being silly but uh <laughs>
see this little field right here, shooting house right there, it's a little field. Anyway, we're doing a survey right there and uh, seeing how many hauls we got before we bring this trap in. Like I said, all we're waiting on really is just the, uh, we're just waiting on the, uh, see if this is gonna flood. Cause all this flooded went back. So I, I will, I am gonna leave my ranger here because if it does start flooding, at least I can jump on the ranger, come back and get this box. I don't want that underwater. So anyhows, we got hogs, you can see. The hog survey shows all this is tore up right here. So, anyway, a little old food plot. Just gotta get some hogs out of here. Anyway. Look. I'm coming for you pigs. I'm coming for you.